And now, Wen joins us live with a preview. What's going on, Nat? Good morning, guys. It's a really important day. 75 years to the day, the day of remembrance we're talking about, uh, that the president signed into a order that the Japanese Americans, anybody of Japanese descent, be actually interned or imprisoned uh, as a result of the war. Now, happening today at the Crock Art Museum, a ton of stuff. Starting from 10 a.m. till 5:30, I wanted to actually get our taiko performers started. This is Koya-san. They are amazing. I said if you guys could start with something a little bit quieter for us. I know it's tough. They are loud and proud, and it's really beautiful once they get going. So we'll have you guys start right now in that part. And while they're doing that, I want to explain a little bit more about the events that are going on today. All this, as you said, to honor and celebrate the Japanese Americans and what they went through so many years ago. Um, so I wanted to pull in a representative with the Crocker Art Museum who's hosting this entire event free, by the way. Um, and I think it's really interesting, the connection that was made. Uh, please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about how this all came to be. I'm Stacy Shelnut Hendrick, and I'm the director of education here at the Crocker. And you were talking about um, well, how this all started. Your registrar actually found some really important artifacts in the building. Yeah, the Crocker was one of the few things sort of um, in the center part of Japanese town, which this used to be, downtown Sacramento. And when um, Japanese Americans were placed in the camps, they gave a lot of objects to the Crocker to hold for them while they were in the camp. So we've been a pivotal role to this story for 75 years. And the exhibition we have now are photographs of Ansel Adams and Leonard Frank of Japanese Americans in the detention camps. Now today we have a lot going on. So we talked, or we have the musical performance, for instance, Taiko. But we also have, if you guys look behind uh, the performers, uh, they'll be doing a special Japanese floral arrangements. They'll also be doing uh, art crafts. So what else can people expect if they come on down and take part in this and most importantly learn about this special day? I think the most uh, moving part for me is the reading of the names of Sacramento citizens that were placed in camps. We're going to be reading over 8,600 names today. We start at 11 o'clock with the names and we won't um, finish until 520. So all day long the names will be read. We're going to be creating cranes for peace. We have Ikebana demonstrations, Kokeshi doll demonstrations. We have um, Koyasan performing and we're so excited to have them here. Doris Matsui, Congresswoman Doris Matsui will be opening the day and we're having the day start with a period of meditation. It's going to be a beautiful day, a day of learning, too, for anybody who hasn't learned or know, know anything about what's going on. So be, as a good send-off, I asked them to kind of kick things off for us right now, if they could see me. You guys ready? This is the way they're... If you guys want to see the full performance, you'll want to come in today. This is them ramping up, and it can only get better from there. So stay with us, though. For this next half hour, we'll be talking about the, some of those exhibits that are going to be going on upstairs for everybody to see. That is great stuff out there, Nat. Appreciate it. It's loud, too. Hey, still to come, find out how